So this song, You Restore My Soul, came out of a church retreat that we had where we were doing a songwriting kind of retreat with our worship team. And um, it was yourself, myself and um, Matt in the group. And you came into that session with kind of this little seed of an idea, I guess it was. Um, and just, yeah, tell me like, where did that idea come from and how did you get it and what were you thinking? Yeah, so immediately before that, we'd kind of had an hour to write on our own. I find it really helpful to have the Bible open when I'm writing, just to get lyrical ideas, just to um, kind of go from and to begin with worshipping and yeah. then kind of get ideas from there. And I just was in Psalm 23 and just seeing that repeated line of, He restores my soul. Yeah. And I just was singing around that and just kind of building a melody, which eventually became the bridge of the song. Yeah. Um, and just kind of seeing what would come out of that. But that yeah. was kind of all I came into yeah. within that session. And that. This thing about the restoration, like, because um, I, I, I think you mentioned at the time that, that this, this idea that it's not just about like the restoration that God has done, but it's, it's like an ongoing. You know, kind of. Can you explain a little bit more what you were saying about that? Yeah, I think um, partly what I feel like my testimony is built around is the fact that God has done a lot of restoring in my soul. Yeah. That's been a massive part of my journey, but also I know that. That's something for every day and for every season. It's yeah. God is constantly restoring us, constantly renewing us and yeah. making us whole again. Yeah. I feel like what I see in a lot of, just even my friendship circles and stuff is, it feels like sometimes you can get a bit battered by life, especially, you know, the stage of life perhaps that we're in where you, you have kids as well. And, um, it, you know, it can easily kind of, things can, can feel like you're weighed down. And I think songs and psalms, like Psalm 23, are mm. so important for just our faith and our journey of faith, where it's like, it's a psalm that you come back to over and over again. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, he restores my soul. And I remember when we were kind of writing that, we didn't want to do too much. Like, mm. it, it's kind of like, we just wanted to sing that scripture. Yeah. And um, I think there's something that's just really powerful about singing scripture and, and not overcomplicating it, but just kind of like letting that, that power sink in. One of the really helpful things I found was I really struggled to write on my own and so it was amazing to be part of a team of people who have done some songwriting previously and who just really helped to unlock some creativity in me and it was just really exciting to see the song come together and kind of take its form. Yeah, I know in our church as well, um, this song's really kind of taken off and what do you think it is about it that has connected with people in, in our church, you know, when we sing it? I think um, scripture really connects with people. I think people love the word of God and singing it brings it to life in a new way. And so it just helps us to remember that we want to live by the word of God and not just separate the word and worship. Yeah. Um, so it's just really powerful. And I think repeating things over to ourselves, you know, we kind of, Sing, sing our way into the truth of you restore my soul, we hold on to it. It's prophetic, it's a promise, yeah. it's a declaration of faith. Yeah, I like in the second verse, um, there's a bit that talks about God lifting our, our head and wiping our tears. Mm. And I remember when we, we kind of came up with that, that idea, there was just that, such that tenderness in mm. that moment yeah. of like seeing God in that way where it's like almost like an actual embrace, you know, and um, I think there's that in the song as well. It's just that feeling of like, you know, in, in our darkest moments and in the times where it is hard, um, just again recognizing that, that God comes to meet us and, and lifts our head and, and is yeah. there for us and is restoring us. Yeah. And there's just, that's, that's the power of the song, I think. Yeah, and it's powerful as well because it's a personal thing like that. That psalm is such a personal psalm of David. Yeah, it's something we can sing over the church, we can declare as something over those who are actually struggling to sing maybe in a time of difficulty or pain. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great.